Hi everyone, this is Bobby from bn-games.com and we're here doing another yeah, classic cool. capture. Today we are doing SSX 3 for the PlayStation 2. Uh, SSX is a well-known snowboarding game, a snowboarding arcade type game, um, that emphasizes, um, well, emphasizes. emphasizes on extreme tricks over absurdly large um, mountains and jumps and everything else under the sun. Um, I, this intro right here I had to cut because this intro right here with DJ Atomica, which you might know from Burnout Paradise, unfortunately, is, um, this little intro takes like five minutes to explain. Oh, you mean Striker? Yes. <laughs> um, it, it, this, this thing right here goes for like for five minutes telling you about each mountain and what's on it. And then, uh, explains about these characters that, uh, you've never seen again or I doubt anyone actually remembers. I don't remember them personally. Um, I just remember picking the one that had the highest stats or the closest to what I like and then selecting them. I think that's, uh, that's what a lot of people did for these games. Yeah. Here. I just, I just like how, the, how DJ's like, like, oh, let's talk about these characters that are all the same except with different point values. And they're male and female. Uh, SSX3 is probably the best in the current series, not including the upcoming remake. Call it, yeah, it's a remake. Yeah, reboot. Um, SSX was actually one of the best-selling PS2 titles, the very first one. Um, but 3 was really where it really came into fruition. Uh, you know, not only was it better looking from a visual perspective, really starting to push the PS2 uh, in, cer in certain regards yeah, visually, but you know they had refined most of the controls. Although I'm, I'm, be I'll admit I'm not very good at this game. Um, I, I did well enough to not make myself look like a fool here, you know, too much. But um, it, um, it took a little while to get used to. I, I actually played it for a little while, so I didn't, you know, try to get everything back in. Um, and like I said, everything's an emphasis on tricking. You know, uh, the better tricks are done as you go faster. And that little uh, meter there to the right is actually a boost bar. Um, and you'll constantly be trying to fill that, and that also doubles your score. Um, also allows you to do like a super, super, uh, super trick that's, I, you know, insane and not really possible in, in the real world. But um, you'll spend a lot of time doing what I'm doing right now, trying to trick and crash. You also, you know, there's <laughs> multiple ways to go down the mountain. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's like, li there's ice, light snow, deep snow that will affect your speed. Because, I mean, in, in, in essence, SSX compared to games like, say, Sean Palmer or Sean White, these were more of, like you said, an arcade type, but these were also kind of like a racing game in, in a sense. Oh, yeah. There's race, there's racing modes here. Uh, I mean, this, yeah, this right here, I'm actually going against, well, I'm supposed to be racing and tricking against... Uh, well, here, it's like the, the tricks, the better you do, the faster you go. I mean, you get you the, the sidebar is like a special bar, like in Tony Hawk and... As in Tony Hawk, you know, once you get the special bar, you start moving faster, your character, you know, spins faster, jumps faster. It, it just, like, gives you ad an added temporary stat bonus. I like the pretty lights. <laughs> All the little colors. It's so colorful. It's, def it's definitely a very, very pretty game, even for, even, even now. Oh, man, hey, don't good. Calm down, Superman. Uh, you gotta like how he does, you know, the nice little Jackie Chan flip. I'm starting <laughs> to get better than a crash. It's, um, control-wise, it's a little stiff, um, it reminds me of an older s style of how the controls are, like you spin with a D-pad, and it's, it's a little weird in that regard, I guess, uh, when you try playing it today. Like I said, it took a little while getting used to it. My first run here was horrible. I'm, I think I'm crashing a lot right now, this is nothing. Uh, just trying to get used to spinning with the D-pad and understanding some of the mechanics again. It, it has been a while since I played one. Um, but, you know, it's still, it's still a fun little game. Um, and not to mention cheap, extremely cheap. Um, if you go to your local GameStop and go to the PS2 section, you'd probably pick this up for like three bucks. Like, literally, that cheap. Um, you might be able to get it on eBay with a full, uh, case, case manual, the whole thing, probably. About ten bucks, maybe. Um, I don't know, it depends on your affinity for the series. Um, if you really liked SSX, uh, then I would say definitely, and if you, you know, want well, well, also, like, if you like games like 1080 from the 64, I mean, this is a good one oh, yeah. if you want something for the PlayStation. 
Yeah. It's it's it, it, I mean in a way it's kind of a successor. Yeah, that that it um it, like I said, it's not bad and, and from a visual perspective, I mean this is it's it's doing some progressive scan here, so it, it does proper widescreen for the modern T V. Um, and you know, it looks pretty good considering um, considering it's a PS two game and um, it is like I said, it's kinda mid you well, know, let's say mid life the PS two when this came out. Um, let's see, start starting to do a little better here. This is a little later in the game where I'm right here, I'm starting to figure out some of the combinations and, and get the timing down, but it's still still fairly challenging um, to get to get the timing right. I think the timing is key here. Um, just uh, you ba basically the, you find the highest jump and then you try to put as many tricks as possible and land it flat. Otherwise, you do what I just right there, lose it, and and when you lose it there, you start losing that special meter, um, which kind of sucks. You know. Slows you down, yeah. uh, you know, you kills your score. That can get kind of frustrating, especially if you're actually trying to, you know, do well and f uh, finish the objectives uh, in the, like, you call it, loosely call it a campaign. Um, like, but this right here, this was, I think, the best I did. I, I really like this. I really like this mountain right here. This, this, this felt right. Um, the first track was cl kind of cluttered. I actually prefer the snowboarding games that have a lot less of the human-made elements. I like just like this, where you know they have a log here and there, and they spend. You like just the arcade elements of it. And just, you know, just going down the mountain mostly. That 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 I prefer, and that is actually very reminiscent of 1080 snowboarding, like you were mentioning for the Nintendo 64. Uh, I played that for more hours than I can count, and if if anything, this was definitely the spiritual successor to that uh, particular game. Um, you know, at, well, at least the first SSX. And this, you know, this follows in the same footsteps. Uh, there was one other game after this, which I have as well, which is SSX On Tour. Um, that one actually is the first game in the series to have um, skis as well as snowboards. Although, uh, from what I remember and can tell, uh, there wasn't too much who difference. Who wants to play skis? I, I don't know. <laughs> People who like to ski, sir? H do you have a problem with yes, this? Yes, I do. Like this right here. I love Let's that. That Hamptons right there. That's just that I'm jumping off and you just... You see the draw distance, and you see what you're about to land on, and there's a, there's a huge sense of speed on some of these tracks. And that's what they are, they're tracks. Um, and as Timmy mentioned before, you have multiple paths and how you get pa um, you know, get through them. It um, And right here I kind of lost. And then by you, a little bit. Yeah, just, well, not by much. Um, this right here is uh, another... Well, this I used to like in 1080, which was um, the, the super pipe, which you just, you know, tricked... To all hell, um, in the one area, and you know, did as best as you can to to get to the end and try to beat the high score. This right here, you just, you just pretty much hold the tricks out, and as long as you land them cleanly, you usually get pretty high score. You want to do combinations, and then eventually you get the super tricks, that super uber trick eventually. Well, right here, I mean, the main thing right here was one not diving down so you don't take you know you don't travel too far down the pipe so you can keep doing tricks but also landing right so you can uh, keep your speed because pretty much once your speed was killed in this unless you're at the beginning of the pipe you were pretty much screwed yeah and right there you can see that there's other pipes although I couldn't figure out actually how to see I messed up I couldn't figure out how to get um, into those separate pipes because you get transfer points and and stuff like that. You can build up speed if you're careful with it, but you also have that meter right there, the time meter, if you're not careful, which is, you know, what'll kill it in the end. And you notice I'm in the red super uber because I've landed some good ones, and then eventually, you know, it just, it's all about points and adding up and your speed in the end. Um, but super pipe was always one of my favorites, um, although a little less so in this game. Uh, I mean, you, you get to hold out the tricks without worrying about crashing um, because of like environmental hazards and stuff so that's what makes it more appealing in the end but um, I don't know it, it, the riding down the mountain is probably the best part of this game for me I mean personally Marco did you ever play any of the SSX's? Um, I played SSX 2 okay yeah, I have that one but I, I never actually owned it, so I didn't really play it. I usually played the Tony Hawk stuff more than this. Although I did play a couple of, like, the Sean Palmer, Sean White, whatever it was. Yeah. Uh, Sean Palmer came out with one Sean White. Although I really like this this game. I, I like the arcade stuff for, for for sports stuff in general, so... Yeah. I, I prefer this. 
over the super realistic stuff at least. Well, kind of over this, I prefer the Sean Palmer, but I mean, I still really enjoy this one. Especially, I, I actually prefer uh, the SSX Tricky, which I believe is part two, but I'm not sure. Well, three is probably the best. I, I still think three is the best. Yeah, of all of them. probably. And, and like I said, extremely cheap to buy. Well, everyone, uh, this was a classic capture for SSX3. Um, this is the replay mode, by the way. I was doing slow-mo. Um, pick it up. Super cheap. Pretty much no excuse if you have a PS2. And, um, hey, it's great value. Uh, please subscribe and let us know what you think. Thank you.